हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन वन पी एल टू पी एल थ्री पी एल फोर पी एल एंड फाइव पी एल फॉर लेटेस्ट अपडेट सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकन The term first party logistic describes companies that use their own fleets or trucks or uh, any other form of warehousing on their own and from the storing or the delivery of the goods to their customer this practice is an old practice which was in practice since 1970s i guess so this is a basic understanding of one party logistics or first party logistics this also uh, requires a company to you know divert from their core uh, you know strength and they have to heavily invest into uh, you know the, their own trucks and warehousing facilities so further we talk about second party or two party logistics a second party logistic provider is an asset based carrier which actually owns the means of transport which either can be uh, shipping line who either owns or have their uh, you know chartered vessels likewise the airlines who have their own flights or planes or the charter or take it on a lease this also includes a party uh, like a transporter or the fleet owner who either have their own fleets or the lease so basically there are two parties involved one who is actually the supplier or the manufacturer who gives a subcontract to the other service provider either a forwarder or a shipping line or a truck driver simply so who procures the cargo as a raw material from different locations and they bring it cargo to the factory uh, company does the manufacturing based on the raw material and everything and they further uh, get it delivered to their end users so this is uh, the example of second party or two party logistics so further we talk about 3pl or third party or three party logistics third party logistic provider offer integrate specialist solution including transportation warehouse storage terminal operation consolidation so basically an outsource company who takes care and manages the complete transportation starting from the procuring of raw material then getting it delivered for the further you know end users or in case of export intent out of the country then the customs brokerage formalities are also taken care of so Uh, the logistic partner also further uh, you know have the subcontracting with the different vendors like transporters or clearing agent or vice versa so that is how the actual manufacturer or a seller that becomes the one first party then a logistic uh, provider who have been introduced who have been given the contract by the first party that becomes the second party and they also take uh, further subcontracting for the different activities like storage or warehousing or material handling or packaging or terminal operations or everything so that is how there are three different parties are who are getting involved to execute the movement of uh, starting from raw material to manufacturing and to the delivery of the goods or material to the end user this is the definition of 3pl or third party logistics so further we talk about 4pl or fourth party or four party logistics fourth party logistics is a new concept that is coming into market it involves an independent company contracted to run all part of a supply chain this logistics are often called lead logistic providers and they are often treated as a consulting company for many supply chains such companies are frequently contracted with many third party logistics and for maintaining neutral management and for providing feedback regarding various third party logistic services so to give an example for uh, the fourth party logistic is the company who have multiple procurement location or countries or they have manufacturing or end user is situated in some other country and their headquarter is based out some other country so this is where uh, the agent business or something is a best example for the fourth party logistics where the the company who is doing that the management of the you know the commercial agreement and everything who sits for example in uk they want to procure the cargo from india and uh, to get it delivered to africa so the company which is acting as a 4pl logistics company they will have a different uh, agreement with different three party logistics here in india and in uh, africa 
to make sure the smooth execution of the supply chain activity and they also get involved with uh, you know the actual raw material or seller supplier also and to the end user also so that is how there are multiple parties basically four different parties are getting involved one is logistic supply provider one is the overseas consultant which is acting as a fourth party and the first seller which is the first party and the end user which is the fourth party so this is the simple uh, definition of fourth party or four party logistics so 5 pl or fifth or five party logistics fifth party logistic partner handles all the logistic needs of a company the line between who is a partner and who is just a service provider whereas a service provider handles specific predefined tasks partners have a lot more responsibilities so a 5 pl acts as a close strategic partner to its clients and works closely with the clients in house terms thus the 5 pl firm is responsible for many critical components of the client's supply chain and manage them on behalf of the client so basically uh, there is not much of a difference of a, between 4 pl or 5 pl but basically 5 pl supplier or logistic partner they act not only as a service provider but they become a partner into the complete supply chain activity definitely under the specific contracts and everything so further i guess i have covered all the different types of 1 pl 2 pl 3 pl 4 pl and 5 pl in nutshell further if you would like to uh, have a better understanding and in depth knowledge then you can uh, give us the comment and we will come back to you with more elaborated uh, videos on this topic thank you for detailed learning of all logistics subjects visit www.logivader.com